Join me today as we decorate the week of July 24th through the 30th in my Recollections Planner with this really pretty watermelon kit. Stay tuned and see how it all came together. All right, so let's start by looking at the week we planned last week. I have absolutely loved this kit. It is so pretty, and I'm really excited to tell you guys that the owner of the shop that I got this kit from, I love my planner shop, has given me a 15% discount code for you guys, so check the description box below the video for that discount. It's 15% off with no minimum purchase. I've also put a link to her shop in the description box. So you can go over and check out her kits and see what she's got because she has some really pretty stuff over there. But as with the end of every week, it's now time to go on to planning next week. It's currently, by the way, Saturday morning. I'm late getting this up. But we are going to plan the 24th through the 30th of July. And I have this watermelon kit from Petite Planner. I was going to tell you how much it was, but I can't find the price on my invoice. I'm going to have to go look that up. I'll have it in the description, in the uh, blog post. But we have some deco and some different pieces here. It's a really pretty kit. I just wanted something watermelony and pretty, and I'm having a little trouble finding watermelon kits, but this one is pretty. Um, we'll see how I like it by the end of the week. So let me turn the camera off and get the stuff cut out that I need and then I'll be back. All right, I have, I think, everything cut out that I need from the, for the main part from the center up. Now I almost always start with this row of full length check boxes in the middle and I drew my lines with a pencil. I find if I put these in first and then the headers and work up and then come back and work down, I get my columns straighter. Um, before, when I was putting the headers down and then putting the check boxes down, I found I spent most of my time peeling up those headers and putting them back down. So, uh, when I started doing it this way, I, it saves me a lot of time. And since there are no lines on the Recollections Planner, um, having those there makes it a little easier. And these are long. This was supposed to be an Erin Condren kit. But these look to me to be the length of a Happy Planner box. And I'm sure it said Erin Condren on the, uh, the kit. doesn't really matter because I don't, I'm going to do no white space and I'll just put those in. They'll fit. I thought that when I was looking at it that these looked longer. That's crooked. Even with the line, I managed to get that one way over too far. Oh, my sticker paper is cooperating today. Not sure if the stickers look any different today on camera. I tried a different fixative spray, and it was a, a matte spray, so my stickers feel kind of weird. They're not as glossy as normal, and I'm not sure how I like that. I might like it a lot, but they feel kind of almost grainy but my printer has a bad habit of um, the ink if I don't seal it the ink comes off on my fingers especially on these glossy sticker paper and you guys ask a lot what sticker paper I'm using I have a photo of the glossy paper I'll try to remember to put the packaging on the photo of the packaging on the blog post I don't remember if I've got it listed in the um, description, but I do have it listed on my blog. So if you go to my blog and check the blog post for the video, it should be there. Let's see, I want this one next. I got myself mixed up. I do have a wrinkle there, but hopefully once I write on it, I won't even notice it again. So, and that's way off. Oh, come on. What was I saying about being easier to get this down straight? Wow. Okay, that's a little better. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to have to start doing this video, on, filming this video on Thursday because I just don't have enough time a lot of weeks on Friday to get it done because I like to have this video up so it goes live at 6 a.m. my time on uh, Saturday morning and I didn't make it this week because it's uh, way past that and I'm just filming it now. So now I put my Today headers across the top of this. Let's see if I can get... I'm going to get Monday and then the weekend done, and then I'll turn the camera off and do the rest off camera so you don't have to watch me struggle with, with uh, peeling stickers. Then I'm going to put, so I'll put today's stickers all the way across. This is my household to-do list. The top, I put the to-do header on all the way across. Let's see if I get this lined up. And I'm going to kind of sort of color block because you can't completely because the headers, like all the to-do headers are one color, all the today headers are one color. So now I'm going to put in the pink box. I'm assuming I've got two of each color at least. I know there's more than eight boxes total. This in next. So this box is just for whatever about the day that I want to make a note of. I'm going to use the star one here. And there's four check flags with stars and four with hearts. And then this little check flag under the to-do list, that is for just some things to do with my blog posts and, and videos if I have work to do with that that's related to that stuff. That goes up there. Now I am going to cover the headers on the weekend with the to-do headers because I don't put those little check boxes up on the weekend. But I want those headers to be the same color. And they're just a little bit off in color from what's in the book. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. These are going to get covered up by the weekend banner. But if I don't cover these up, the, there's going to be just a little bit showing on the end. No, weekend banner. I know I had it. There are no date covers in this kit. So I'm just going to leave the dates showing the way they are because I think they look just fine. I am going to put this down and I'm going to put that like that. Oh, I like that. So I'm going to complete the headers, the half boxes, the headers, and the half check boxes. And when I get that done, I'll come back and we'll work on the bottom half. All right, so I looked it up and this actually was supposed to be a happy planner kit, which I didn't even notice when I bought it, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Um, consequently, the washi did not fit at all, so I dug out some washi. I actually have washi. I have a whole bin of washi here on my desk, so I picked out these two. I thought they'd be kind of cute with this, so let's put down the full boxes first. First, I'm going to figure out where they go. And this just means I have a bigger to-do list, so it's fine. It doesn't really... I don't mind that it's the sized for the other planner. I think I was going to switch those. I was. That's totally out of order. It doesn't matter though. It's fine. Alright, so that means there's also. Oh, okay, no, that one can go up there. Uh, let's go here. And let's go here and put that one up there. I think that'll work. Let's just put these down. I don't know how I missed that this was actually a Happy Planner kit when I bought it, but it doesn't really matter all that much to me. Let's get this straight. Let's see if I get this on straight. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do, and then I'll go ahead and turn the camera off and finish putting these down, probably. I don't have a, I really don't have any plans for this week other than like going to the post office and going to the post office on Friday. I have no, in the grocery store, I have no real plans this week at all. It's a pretty boring week, which Hopefully that means I can get caught up on housework and caught up on filming. I am so far behind on filming and blog posting and everything for all my channels that I really just want to... Maybe I'll just use the black and white one. I think I will. Yeah, I think... I'm going to bring it up over the bottom. Kind of... That's 
really crooked though, is it? Let's first let's go on the bottom. Ruler. So I get my ruler on the desk. And then put rub up those just a little bit. I didn't like that big wide black line I got when I didn't overlap those two. So a lot of times I'll use a uh, Erin Condren sized kit in my Happy Planner. This is first, I don't think I've ever used a Happy Planner kit in this planner, but it's working just fine. A little less white space than I normally have, but that's okay. And there were dinner stickers, I just chose not to use them. I decided to put that in the sidebar. I think my sidebar is going to be very functional this week and not very decorative, but that's okay. So I'm going to continue this and then put these down, put two rows of washi, and then get everything cut out for the sidebar, and then I'll be back. All right, so I've got that all put down, and I cut out my sidebar stickers. The only thing this kit didn't have is it had absolutely no habit trackers. So I'm going to use this one from Ruby Red Iris. I've used this a lot, and there will be a link to both the, the shop for the kit I'm using and also to Ruby Red Iris for the habit tracker in the blog post. I put all my links in the blog post for the most part for that stuff. All right, I'm going to start there and then I'm going to go to the bottom and line this one up. And I always line up my sidebar with this line that uh, Recollections leaves has in the planner. It makes it much easier and because most of these are Happy Planner stickers. They're a little bit longer, so they're going to take up a little more space. Yeah, it's just perfect. It's my hydration sticker. This will be for dinners, and I don't think I'm going to put a header on it to save some space. I know it's for dinner. I know that. I wanted a cleaning list over here, but that's not going to happen, so... This then goes right there and is perfect. There you can see, I don't know if the camera is picking up, but I've, that was from this one, I think. My finger slid across the ink and um, made a black mark. All right, so now I can fill in the couple of things I know, and I don't see a permanent marker, so I'm going to have to be very careful how I fill this out. So I know that my habit tracker, I want one for breakfast. One for my vitamin. One for the plants. And one for exercise of some kind, I'm not sure what. Those I'll fill in as I go. I know I want to go to the post office and Freddy's. I know that for, uh, let's see, that means Thursday I need to make a, a menu and a list for the weekend. And Friday I'm going to the post office and Freddy's. And I might do other things in between, I just don't know yet. Saturday, I need to change the wax melt. I need to do the cat box. And Sunday, I need to do the hummingbird feeder. Feeders. All right, not sure where I had to cut that off yet right now because my son came in the back door and made some noise and needed to talk to me. So. Here we are, filled out as much as I can at this point. Since it, like I said earlier, it's only Saturday, early Saturday morning. I have no idea what's going on next week except the stuff that goes on every week. 
So I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. Be sure and check the blog post for the link to the shop and to the shop for this and some better photos. If you haven't found my Facebook group, I'd love to have you come and join us over there. I'd love to get some discussion started about favorite sticker paper, favorite sticker shops that have printable stickers, all that kind of stuff. If you've got any tricks or tips for printing or if you're having problems, maybe I can help you. I don't know. I'll try. So join us over there. The link to that's in the description box and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.